Everyone's work on this looks pretty good. Um, so again, the main point of this is so we can check our answers. Let me get your red pens first. Yay! Yay! Right about that. Red pens are coming around. Wait a minute. Don't worry about the number, it's all the same supplies. Okay. Thanks, Ella. Last one we the red Alright, so let's get everyone their red pens quickly. Okay, Leslie, can you close that please? Okay, CJ, you gotta close that. Chromebook. She stole it. Okay, Kenny. You gotta close that, we gotta listen up. What do you mean? You can copy down the work though. Okay, yeah, that works, that's fine. All right. So, uh, when we're multiplying two numbers in scientific notation, right, the big things are we're going to multiply our leading numbers together. We're going to add our exponents from our powers of 10. And then if we have to move our decimal in our new leading number, we're going to have to adjust our power of 10 as well by adding 1 to it, right? Yes. So because we don't have a calculator at our disposal, the first thing we have to do is a little hand multiplication. 28, 23, and then one decimal point, right? Yes. Is there a question? Okay. So 23.8 is our new leading number. 10 to the seventh times 10 to the sixth. Gives us 10 to the 7 plus 6, which is 10 to the 13th, right? Yes. We're almost done. We're going to have to move this decimal that's in 23.8, right? We only want one number to the left of our decimal. So we're going to move this over 1. Okay, uh, Zayla, let's go ahead and go back to your original seat, please. So we move this decimal over one space. That means we have to add one to our power of 10. Okay, so we get 2.38 times 10 to the 14th power. Okay. Yes. Number two. Again, we start by multiplying. 7.5 times 2. 2 times 5 is 10. 2 times 7 is 14. Plus 1 is 15 with one decimal point. 10 to the 1 plus 4 gives us 10 to the 5th. But again, we've got to move this decimal one space over, thus adding 1 to our power of 10. 1.5 times 10 to the sixth. Uh, Anyone take some time this weekend to review how to multiply two numbers by hand like this? No. no. I just, you guys remember how to do long division by hand, right? Yeah. Yes. yeah. I did. Good, good, good. Because that's what we're doing today. Jordan, you got a question? Um, I put 10 to the sixth times 1.5. Does that matter? Yeah, the order does matter. You got to put the leading number in front. Red room. That's okay. No. I'll know what you mean, um, and I'll probably count it as right. But the notation is, it means it's written in a specific way, right? So this number's got to come first, and then our power of ten. Okay. Uh, number three, we have three point four times one point one. Little double decimal action here. 1 times 4, 1 times 3. Okay, I don't know I don't know what's going on back there, but you guys got to stop talking. Like, how many times do I have to direct my attention over there? Jordan, stop. Okay, 
1 times 4 is 4, 1 times 3 is 3. Now we have to add them all up. 3, 7, 4 with two decimals. Now this one's nice. We don't have to adjust our decimal at all. 3.74 is the leading number that we want. And then negative 2 plus 4 just gives us positive 2. Good. Number 4, 5.7 times 5, 35, 28, right? Yeah. Uh, 10 to the 5 plus 5 gives us 10 to the 10. Move the decimal one space, add 1 to our exponent, 2.85 times 10 to the 11. Number five, 3.8 times two, 16, 17, that's not right, not 17, just seven. 7.6 is what we get. And then two minus one just gives us to the first. Again, with scientific notation, I know usually we don't write our ones as an exponent, but please do in scientific notation, uh, just because that's the way that it's written. 7.6 times 6, we got 36 and 45. 10 to the 2 plus 5 gives us 10 to the 7th. Move our decimal one space, adds 1 to our power. 4.56 times 10 to the 8th. Questions so far? Beautiful. 4.99 times 2. Well, 4.99 is almost 5, and twice 5 is 10. So this is probably going to be just under 10, right? 18, 19, 2 times 8, 9. Two decimal places, 9.98 times 10 to the third. We got 2 plus 1 gives us... 10 to the third. And then we got 1.6 times 9. 6 times 9 is 54. 9 times 1 is 9 plus 5 is 14. Here's a, something interesting we can review real quick. We've got 10 to the power of negative 6 plus negative 6 plus next to a minus sign. What does that turn into again? Minus. A minus sign. Negative 6 minus 6 gives us 10 to the negative 12. Now this is interesting. We move our decimal one space over, so we have to add 1 to our power, right? Well, negative 12 plus 1 doesn't give us negative 13. It gives us negative 11, right? So if we have a negative power of 10 that we have to add 1 to, we've got to remember that we're going, or we got to make sure we're going in the right direction when we add that, okay? Show the thumbs real quick. How are we feeling about multiplying in scientific notation? Thumbs up. If you got it, you're good. Thumbs sideways if you still got some questions. Thumbs down if you're not getting it. Okay. Good. So, again, I'll be here after school tomorrow from 3 to 4 if you need additional help. Okay.